Interesting. All by Mark's Toys. They're from the Ben Hur playset. And got here some sort of fountain that would like be against the wall. And there's a column. Quick! Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian. No mark. But it's real. Another column. And I believe it's Doric. They were the most plain. Could be Ionic though. Yeah, maybe it's Ionic. I can't re I can't remember. Art history. How long ago did I take, did I take art history? 1988, 89, 31 years ago. And there's like a urn. You'd have like a bowl of simmering, I don't know, brewing, like spewing out vapor. In the chamber of the uh, oracle, and the uh, astronauts can can wander into it and be like, "Dude, so in a hurry to get busy with those things that I didn't really show them much for detail." Interesting, hollow mold. No markings anywhere. It's more of a stiff plastic than a hard plastic. Would that be Gaius? Or maybe Mark Antony? There's Caesar. Or whoever. Socrates. Markings. I had to use a, a little bit of putty when I was just shooting my pictures there because of the irregular trim piece there. It wasn't sort of looking looking like uh, an earthquake had ripped through. And here's this thing. That's impressive. That's a nice piece of plastic. Semi-flexible. You can see me moving it there and it's not... Not hard in terms of clinky hard plastic. Interesting form on the inside. You can sort of see the leftover marks in the clay or whatever they, they, they formed the original positive with for the mold. And again, no marks. Ben Hur place it. Oh, it's even got some, some sort of terrain there. Ben Hur playset, 1959, by Marks. They may have only issued it for that one year. And you know there was some figures up for grabs with them too. And I, I, I really wish I'd gotten them at this point because there were some Sabine females or whatever, whatever they would be. This is the urn for the uh, oracle whatever it would be and together they make you know make for instance surrealist whoops get the piece of putty back on this one and I wish they were the columns were both the same color but hey that's showbiz as I like to put it instant surrealist art set even just on its own don't even need anything with it I tried working the painting into it it just, it just, on their own, they're, 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 they're interesting enough. And you add, you add your oracle there. And we're ready to breathe some hallucinogenic vapors and have a vision of starships crossing the cosmos or whatever they were doing back then. And we'll put it to good use. Steve.
I think those are both Mark Swapits. And we can uh, maybe make it more postmodernist by perhaps offering to give these people air. Cohagen, you must give these people air. And a couple of Sabine women there for the astronauts to ponder about. You see where we're going with this? You see where we're going with this? Yeah, we're going to make art out of this stuff. I mean, there you go right there. I'd even, uh, I'd even set up this, got out a little painting earlier. Let's see if I can make it real here. The painting, this little space pyramid from 2014, I think. She's on kind of her little, her little cushion there next to her oracle chamber and there's our siren on the rocks luring the sailors to their doom and we can have the Arnold say to give these people air we'll get something going with the air thing yet and then just sort of re reacting in shock Almost looks like she's uh, <clears throat> tied to that column there. We've lost the air tank, so we need to simplify the composition a bit. You see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this? All right. Take 30 picture images from a bunch of different angles, pick out the best four and make paintings based on it. Instantly overcome my weakness of my figurative game. And we got girls. Huh? The spaceman's dream.